Batman Soul of the Dragon, the brand new DC anime film, where it is heavily inspired by two eras that was heavily in the 70s. One, the Blast Rotation era, like Shiaf and Doramite, and also the martial arts uh, era in the 70s, like Bruce Lee. And the thing about this movie is, like, I, I liked it. Um, there's certain things I care more than others, like any movie. But... But the one thing that really spoke to me, I was like, you know, the movie's called Batman Soul of the Dragon, and you're like, why is this a Batman movie? And not because, like, it's so different. Not because it's so completely different. You know, it's a, there's no, you know, Batcave, there's no Batmobiles, there's no this, there's no that. No, no, I don't care, but it's just that whole thing of, like, if you're expecting Bruce to be wearing that, wear, wear the bat suit, like, a good chunk of this movie, yeah, he kind of just wears it at the third act. Like, the final battle stuff. Yeah. And he's always, it's not like it's always just doing anything, it's, he is Batman, he's a savage as Batman, he is <laughs> the Dark Knight, he is Iron Avengers, Iron Knight, he is Batman, like, yeah, and you just had thinking, like, it felt like the Batman idea was asked for. Like, it felt like they had this idea of a martial arts, martial arts film and set in the DC universe and, or based on DC characters. And it was like, oh, you know, we're going to have Bond's Tiger and, like, Shiva and, and, um, and, uh, Witcher Dragon. We're going to have those type characters. Uh huh. Nah. By the way, Batman's in it. <laughs> Oh, oh, so, like, it just felt, like, so, like, artful, like, oh, yeah, Batman's meant to be in this film, you know what I mean? Um, and the main plot, like, the thing that is targeting, that is driving the, this movie forward, is pretty much the most uninteresting part of the movie, because what you have here, and the thing, it's, at the beginning, felt really jarring, and the transition felt like, okay, you're cutting through an action sequence to have a flashback, okay, Okay, but the stuff that I really enjoy was the flashbacks, where we get to experience and see the dragons, which is Bruce, Lady Shiva, Bronze Tiger, and Witcher Dragon. That for me, I was like eating up because it was so much witness and character, and witness of story, and witness of the sort of depth towards it in these like I don't know five minutes segments while you know the main story is going, going on at the same time and I mean there's a great scene about punching a walk and the sh the sender the sensei um is like saying to Bruce that punch a walk it tends to to you know wobble if you punch wobble it turns into sand apply making the 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 meshes of the whole idea of fighting, fighting crime and the war on crime and making sure it doesn't happen anywhere again and the darkness and and for, for me I was like so like that moment the sample for example for me felt so much um, witness there and so much character towards it. Well, the point when we are in modern time because this film set in the seventies when we are in modern time, it it just felt like okay, we need a bunch of action sequences and this is how we're going to do it. I mean, the main character is uh, Witcher Dragon, who is like a James Bond type character who's recruiting all of the dragons to fight uh, Coverhead. And, who's who's the villain? And I, um, I mean, Coverhead is not that fleshed out. He, he's just there to move the, the, the story forward and he's just there to have the characters there and have some action sequences and all that. And I won't lie, the action sequences are really well put together. They are really well choreographed because, you know, on the same side, these are straight to DVD, straight, you know, you know, video on demand, you know, anime movies. They don't have a Pixar level budget, understandably so. So, and you, while watching it, I'm like, for martial arts with a anime film with the entire budget that they have it's really well impressive that they what they put in um and all that and it 
and so you got that the music is wonderful i mean the credits i, I just couldn't stop but the just like clicking and go like dances to the beats it's like that 70s disco black rotation type music and it's really <laughs> bloody like groovy to the point um it's uh it's you know it's not it's not the best of the dc anime films but it's fine it's just that weird thing where you question like a movie is called batman is it the the, the title character <laughs> is like the third main character it's weird it, it, it does feel like flashpoint paradox where it's like we can't just call this thing flashpoint we have to put justice League in the title or in this case we need to put batman in the title to sell copies because batman makes money um yeah batman's our crown jewel so he's our most popular cat for unsemble reasons um but yeah it's just it's fine it's good it's not the best but you know check it out recommend it um and yeah